finally, welcome to the review video or the results video of the Jaipur uh, kit that I brewed. Now, first things first, this beer is really nice. Let's try this on its own, independent beer. Let's ignore that for a sec. So it's not, it's not much hops on the aroma. Very malty. Yeah, not picking much up on it at all, if I'm completely honest. Hasn't stopped me diving into it, though. It's been really difficult keeping my hands off this one. Here's a closer look. It's not crystal clear, um, but I forgot to use um, Irish Moss um, in the brew, so I'm guessing that would have cleared most of that up. So let's go for the taste. Mm. Yeah, That's a very complex hop flavour. There's not one hop that stands out. There's a, a very dry, bitter finish, which is very refreshing, similar to what this one is. It's very sessionable. It's very sessionable. Let's do a side-by-side -side and get some more comments out on it. So this keg, kegged beer, is at 4 degrees, so it's been warming up slightly in the sun whilst I've been faffing about with the camera, and this one has been sat at 11 degrees in my beer fridge. Now you can instantly see the difference between the colour. Now, this was purely Maris Otter in the kit. There's no way that is Maris Otter from Thornbridge. No way. That's super pale malt or extra pale malt. Even the colour of the head is bright white compared to just a standard white. Yeah, you get a bit of hop aroma on it, but just a just a sweet aroma, but no malt. So it's kind of it's kind of the opposite to what this bad boy is, which isn't a bad beer at all. It's a really nice beer, but as a Jaipur, I'm not not sure. Bitterness is the same. The hop taste is more or less the same, but it's clouded in this because of the, the malty backbone, which is a big shame. If I brew this again, I'll go with extra pale malt, and I think it'd be so much closer to this. So much closer. Yeah, there's the comparison. It's so refreshing on a day like today. That hop bite you get at the back end of these beers. Home from work, cut the grass, probably got grass in my beard, just in time for a sundowner. What more could you ask for? Some extra pale malt, that's what I could ask for. Yeah, that's a shame that is. But, a great kit nonetheless. And it was cheap enough, from memory, I think it was £24, 
I'll uh, the link will be in the description below anyway, as it was in the brew day video. Um, I'll link that video as well if you fancy checking that out. And this could do with some more carbonation as well. Currently got it at 8, 10 psi. I don't force carbonate. Well, I do force carbonate my beers, but I don't force carb them over 24 hours or anything. I just set and forget for a couple of weeks. Gives the beer a chance to mellow out and really come to its best and then smash it. Them to one side. We have started growing three different varieties of hops this year. Uh, I started growing a Cascade hop last year and just let it go a bit nuts. Didn't have, I had about five or six cones off the stingy little thing, but um, it's in its second year now, so it's doing much better. That's at the front of the house. I also bought a Fuggles plant and this one behind me, which I wasn't sure would grow very well here in Wales, is the SARS and it's taken off like a rocket. It's, it's so much further ahead of the other ones, it's unbelievable. And even the trunk, trunk, the bind itself, it's got some girth, man, it's got some girth. So let's have a look around at the hot plants. I'll also show, show you the rhubarb plant, which I'm probably gonna harvest tonight with the kids. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look. So first off, I've installed all this um, artificial grass. There was all horrible slabs around here. I've managed to sort that out ready for summer. Looks a lot better. And I'm gonna be putting a beer bench in the corner here, similar to what Harry Brewer has built. I just need to get my hands on some decent wood, not something like this with all the knots blown out of it. Here's the hop plant, here's the, the SARS, and it's really just taken off. And you can see it coming up and trying to train it that way and take it all the way across to there. Well, that's the plan anyway. I think it'll fit. This is the Fuggles. Obviously not doing as well as the SARS, but training it up there and along the side of the house, where it's got plenty of daylight and well sun for two days of the year. Then at the front, we have my second year Cascade, which is doing pretty well. So that's being trained up to there, and I'm gonna do it across the top of the window. I think it looked pretty awesome once it's going. So a bit later than planned, obviously it's the following day. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, up and coming videos, I've recently got an Angram hand pull. Uh, a video of how to install that and how I use it with the uh, bag system. And I've also bought myself the Blickman Engineering beer gun as well. Gonna be giving that a go. Bought myself a little uh, mini regulator with a soda stream adapter and the soda streams over there. So I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Yes,